knew a lot of the faces. You knew Bill the Bomb and Lenny McLean, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I used to train with Lenny McLean. We used to go over to a place called Slim Jim's, a yeah. lot of places. I don't know why we went there. It's both fat as pigs. We <laughs> and uh, Lenny was a larger than life character. How are you, son? You all right? You know, he's one of them. And it was a sort of bodybuilder's gym. Load of them geezers walking about with big muscles and all that. Yeah. And um, he used to have a little format where he'd come in, Lenny, he'd have a mug of tea, uh, jacket potato, big jacket. He always had to be a big, the biggest one. I think the geezer used to shit himself. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know where he used to get these potatoes. He must have grown special. <laughs> the biggest potatoes I've ever seen. He'd have a, a big jacket potato, mug of tea and a roll up. And then train. And what we used to do is go on the heavy bag for about an hour, him on one side, me on the other. And he was just a really like funny yeah. character. Yeah. You know, he was just a... Yeah, yeah. I heard he was very funny in that. And very funny. And intimidating like, man when he kicked off. Oh, out of all the people, I suppose he was the most intimidating. That you've seen. His presence was yeah. very, very intimidating. The he look was, of him, he looked like granite. He, yeah, but again, on his own, in the right company, where he felt comfortable, just a funny bloke. Yeah. Like, really make you laugh, you yeah. know. And a lot of people say, oh, he was a bully and all that. And perhaps some circumstances he might might have been bullish, but I always class a bully as someone who chooses their targets. Yeah. You know, if, if, if to find out a little bit about yourself, if you're going along in a car, and someone does something wrong, before you have road rage, do you weigh up who's in that car? In, even if it's a split second, or, you, or do you give it to them, yeah. whoever they are? Yeah. And I, I know what you mean. So you know what? Lenny would fight a gang of people by himself. So Lenny would go and front and five or six people. On his own. On his own. And that's why I always found a bully, the bully yeah. thing to be different. Diff I thought he was the anti-bully. Yeah. Whereas he would fight a gang. Yeah. Um, you know, and so, so, and I suppose what it was with him, he had a very big press, very big press. He was a big lump anyway, super strong, very, you know, some, how are you? Isn't it nice? And all, you know, there's a little Lively. bit of buller, a little bit of yeah, buller yeah, in there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a little yeah. touch of buller in it. But uh, um, no, and it, we did, we used to have some good laughs and I used to meet him yeah. on a regular basis, you know. Um, yeah. And I, and then I topped up, I had, um, like I said, I'd become, I'd become an hairdresser as, yeah. As well, which was a bit, um, yeah, a bit confusing because I was boxing at the time. I used to get and, and a hairdresser. Yeah, I used to get muddled up. <laughs> I, I, did, I did. I used to have people come in my shop and I'd cut their head and I'd be sparring them out the back. <laughs> you know, I, if, if you was a fighter, I wouldn't charge you nothing for your hair, but you'd have to spar them out, <laughs> out, out, out in the yard after. But it was, you know, there was some good. It was a buzzing shop. I was yeah. in Canning Town Ta talking about that shop. Yeah. Wasn't there, uh, haven't you got a story about a notorious name, that, ah, an exclusive story? I know what you're talking about, yeah, so there's only a few people know about this.